Welcome to Food Preparation and Nutrition. Why wouldn't you want to study this subject? We eat every day. Wouldn't it be good to know what goes into your food and how to cook it? By studying this GCSE, uh, you'll be, be able to demonstrate effective and safe cooking skills by planning, preparing and cooking. You'll develop a deeper knowledge and understanding of functional properties. You'll understand the relationship between diet, nutrition and health. You'll understand economic, environment, ethical and social cultural influences in food. Demonstrate knowledge and understanding of functional and nutritional properties. And also understand and explore a range of ingredients and processes from different culinary traditions to inspire new ideas or modify existing recipes. It's quite an exciting hands-on course. Um, there is coursework, but there is also quite a lot of practical involved as well. So, the course is actually broken down into three sections. There is a written exam, which is 50%, and that usually happens around year 11, around May or June time. In September, so in year 11, September, you'll be um, given the first project and this coursework is 20%. And what that's about is looking at um, different ingredients that go into food and it's about you investigating about different things. So they release it in September and they may say to you, find out what's the best fat that goes into pastry or what's the best way to sweeten cakes for example so you have to do an investigation and you find you write down your findings in the written piece of work and that's 20 percent uh, then in november of year 11 you'll be given another your second project which is 30 percent and that one is it's coursework which leads on to research and then you have to decide which three products you would like to make um, but it's got to be done in three hours. So it's almost like a practical food exam, which happens around Feb January, February time. So you've got investigation in September. Then you have NEA2, which is a three hour practical exam backed up by coursework. And then about May, June, you sit the written exam, which is 50%. Lots and lots of jobs um, are led with this subject um, and just a few I've written here. Um, it can lead you to being a chef, a food stylist, hospitality and catering, you can be a food technologist. Um, you can have your own restaurant, be a restaurant manager, nutritional therapist, quality food assurance manager, marketing food manager, purchasing. Of course, you could be a food teacher as well. We're also quite lucky to have um, the College of Food in Birmingham, in central Birmingham, which is um, provides lots and lots of courses straight after your GCSE if you didn't want to stay on at Aston Manor Academy. Looking forward to teaching you. Thank you.